Y'all, I'm about to vacuum, but I walked over here to get a piece of gum out of my pocketbook, and I looked up, and there was Miss Turkey. She's been taking her dirt bath, so, yeah, she went over there and got a little dirty, and it started sprinkling, so I guess they're coming up on the porch instead of going to their coop since it's sprinkling. <laughs> get nice and relaxed. Just don't use the bathroom on the porch. That's the only rule. ask about this vacuum cleaner because it's not the one that I showed y'all a while back the other one is also I think it's in the garage at the moment it still works it's also a Bissell I got it whenever my shark navigator went out on me I guess about a year ago for the longest time that shark was my favorite vacuum cleaner and I still really like it but I ended up going with that Bissell one because it's the one I'm pretty sure it was Walmart didn't have the shark one in stock or something and so I got that Bissell the green one that I have anyway so back around Christmas time when it was crazy in here with all the house updates and all I didn't they needed a vacuum cleaner for different stuff and they have uh, Titus has a shop back but sometimes he just needed a regular vacuum cleaner and I didn't want him using mine because I didn't want him to tear it up so he went to Walmart one night and he came home with this one and after a little while I realized that this one was better than my other one so I took over this one and gave them the green one which is also still working I mean it's very surprising they have use these things for all kind of stuff doing all these house projects and every now and then they just they get mixed up and they'll use this one or the green one or this you know it just anyway it's back and forth but I try to keep this one in here and tell them to use the green one for the projects that they're doing but both of them are holding up really well to all of this I mean as you can see it's it's the, I need to clean it off but They've both been through a lot, and they work really good. I just wanted to tell y'all about them. This one is the Bissell Power Lifter. It's purple and has a green thing inside. I'll link them both down below. They both work really good, and I also still love that Shark Navigator one. But, I mean, they're not expensive vacuum cleaners, but they're lasting a lot longer than any other vacuum cleaners I've ever had before. But yeah, that's where the purple one came from. It's time to cook supper. We're making some onion burger... <laughs> Y'all, this is so hard to say. I've tried to say it like three times. We are making onion butter burgers for supper. We're gonna mix this Kinder's caramelized onion burger. Y'all, <laughs> we're gonna put this in with the ground beef, make some hamburger patties and cook them. Caramelized onion butter burgers. We're gonna cook up some red onions to have on them too with Swiss cheese. I have other cheese though if, if folks don't want Swiss. Oh, and we have the burger sauce, also Kinder's, that we're gonna put on them. Let's taste this and see what it tastes like. I've never gotten the burger sauce before. Did we get the fry sauce? I don't think we've gotten the fry sauce either. Uh, we're just gonna have chips with these tonight, so I'll put some of this on a chip. We'll see how it tastes. Hmm. What does it say? Our burger sauce is our take on the creamy tangy sauce with a hint of barbecue to make it the perfect match for a lot more than burgers. Sauce up your favorite burger. Sauce up your favorite bur- Sauce up your favorite burger. <laughs> burger is being hard for me to say today. Dip, fries, chips, or veggies, spread on your favorite sandwiches and wraps, and so much more. Um, okay. I don't know if my taste is off, but um, I'm not loving this. I also don't like their buffalo sauce. So this, uh, as of now, is number two of the Kinder sauces that I don't love. Now, their barbecue sauces, I'm, I'm pretty sure we've loved all of their barbecue sauces. I don't know. Like I said, my taste could be off. Let me try it one more time. Let's shake it up a little bit. <laughs> Have y'all ever tasted a sauce that was like a honey mustard and barbecue combined sauce or something? That's kind of what it's tasting like. The chickens are coming back out. It must be about to stop. They finally went and gotten their food. But now they're coming back out, so the rain must be about to stop. I really, I'm kind of sad about the sauce, but I, I, it could, like I said, it could be my taste is off a little bit with pollen acting with my son. <laughs> Jonah and Cece are playing some kind of game over there. So, we've had this onion burger. I'm not even going to try to say it anymore, y'all. I'm just going to show y'all the picture. We've had this before on stuff, and it's good. So, I'm going to shake a little bit in here with the ground beef. We'll mix it in. Go ahead and let the pan start heating up. 
if I knew for sure that rain wasn't going to start back up, we'd go cook on the blackstone. So since we redid the back porch out there, we're not going to keep the blackstone on the covered part anymore. We have a little cement pad down there. We're going to put the blackstone down there, and Titus is just going to build a little cover off the back porch to cover it. And that's where we're going to keep the blackstone and the grill. Titus just called and said that the last customer he was at, they were making tacos. And his wife came out and said that he wanted Titus to stay and eat with them, so he ate tacos with them. So I'm sure we'll have some burgers left over now. Also, hadn't heard from Jake yet, and so he may be gonna eat with some friends somewhere tonight. That's fine. We'll just have burgers for lunch tomorrow if we have a lot left over. <laughs> The secret to any cheeseburger is you've got to butter and toast that bun. We've talked about this before. That just takes it over the top. It can be average. If your bun is not toasted, it's average. You toast that bun, it's above average. I'm getting sleepy already, y'all. didn't sleep too well last night. I'm getting pretty sleepy right now. <laughs> I think I'll be going to bed early tonight, and I hope it's still raining just a little bit so I can listen to it. I'm only kind of happy about the rain because it's not here to stay. Tomorrow we're supposed to have sunshine again. We found some more antique stores we want to go to. We're looking for an old phone, like one of those really old, doesn't have to be like Little House on the Prairie old, but one of those box kind, you know, that hung on the wall that had the box. We're looking for one of those to hang on the wall out on the porch. We saw some at that one antique store. The price wasn't right. <laughs> It probably was. I mean, they were really old, but it wasn't the right price for us. We're looking for some prices way down here, down here, you know, not up there. <laughs> they have some online. I think it was on, it was either on eBay or Amazon. They look like that old 1920 style telephone. They actually work. They have the hookups in the back and they actually, you can hook them up to your landline and they work. That would be pretty fun, but we don't have a hookup out there, but that would be neat. <laughs> But of course, they're not really old, you know, they're just made to look old. Walnut Grove. That was one of my favorite episodes of Little House on the Prairie when they got the phone hooked up. And Harriet, she used to be getting her some popcorn in there listening. <laughs> Coming up here to shut the chickens in. They already went up for the night. They thought I had a treat. I'm sorry. I came out too soon, didn't I? If it's already really dark when you come out here, they won't come back out. But since it was still a little daylight, they thought I had a treat. I promise I'll bring a treat tomorrow. I promise. Now I gotta remember I promised them a treat tomorrow. <laughs> We've got another new one tonight. I've been finding lots of good children's books at the antique stores and they're really cheap. I think this one was two dollars and that uh, Gregory one that I read in the other day I think it was two fifty. That Gregory one I think was from the 60s. This one is from 2014. <laughs> it's called Found. One day Bear found something in the forest. <gasps> a, bunny a, bun a bunny rabbit. Look at that little bird up there. Bear thought it was the most special thing he had ever seen. He gently carried the toy bunny home. <gasps> There's Mama Bear! Mm -hmm. With flyers stacked high, Bear set off. There were many treasured things that were lost, but not a toy bunny, a reindeer, an elephant. Anyone <laughs> seen an elephant in the room? <laughs> no. And that... Airplane. Oh, lost Amelia Earhart! Lost tooth. Missing Link. Lost Tooth. That's right. Bear, time for supper. Bear handed the bunny to Moose. The bunny was finally going home. Moose was glad to see Floppy, but special toys are meant to be passed on to someone special. Will you take good care of Floppy for me, asked Moose. Forever. The bunny wasn't lost anymore. Lost, lost shadow, look, it's Peter Pan. Lost toy with paper. <laughs> No chocolate, no chocolate. Oh, that's not chocolate. <laughs> that's a paper sack over somebody's hand. 
If they lost their chocolate, they gotta find that.